Hey everyone, I recently had a question on how to um, convert a large number to a currency. Now, there was one suggestion in the community where, let's say, um, someone's put, uh, I'm not sure of the exact requirements, but I'm just going to, based on the detail we've got that from the community, let's say we're going to put not a currency control in because that will do it automatically. So let's assume they're putting in a number control and they're punching in uh, a massive number so they're putting something like this okay so we've got that so we know that that's our massive number and they want to format it like a currency so someone in the community said well if you want to format it you could probably just grab the number and put it into here so we could say rules and uh, set currency field let's say if uh, number one is filled then currency one value is equal to form controls number one. So let's go and let's also do the inverse of that so we can just clear it out. Uh, cool. So we go to preview, uh, we've got our controls there, so we put a massive number in here and oh, I've made a mistake, it's an integer and it's not a decimal, so let's first fix that. So we go to decimal, preview, we put on our massive number dot something 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 and what you can see here is it's automatically got um, if I click into it, it removes the formatting, but the decimal is still there. When I click out of it, it's putting the thousand separators and the decimal point. Now I could come through to here and then also say uh, decimal places is two, come back to here, put in my massive number. And it's actually sorted out, so six, four, three, so it's rounded down. So if we put six, four, uh, five, you can see it rounds so that's standard sort of rounding. Now, the question is, what if they wanted to do that in a label? I guess um, if you took that value and put it in a label, it's actually not going to work. So let's put a label down and let's put um, both our number controls and our, oops, two square brackets will do, currency one. And let's see what happens when we put our number in. And they both come in exactly the same way. So because these are a piece of data that, that they don't require any formatting on the number. So what if this person wants to actually format that number to say, I don't know, a um, dollar sign, so on and so forth, round the number to two decimal places and put thousand separators. Well, this is a very interesting problem. I, it took me a little bit of time to figure this out, but what you could do is if you're putting a dollar sign, that means it's no longer a number. It's actually a string because the dollar sign obviously isn't a string, isn't a number, sorry. So first thing we need to do is make, uh, so let's say currency variable, and we need to put it as a text. Now the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to do round. So we want to round our number to two decimal places. So we're going to say round, and we're going to put a number control. So if you're not familiar with this uh, function, you come through here and go number, and it's going to tell you how to use it through here. So what it's basically doing is saying, oh, not is number, uh, round, round. And it's going to ask for the decimal value and also the integer precision. precision. So that basically means how many decimal places you want. So um, then, okay, so as you can see here, it's saying, well, it doesn't match the expected variable type, so it's text. So we are converting a number uh, to two decimal places, but putting in a text variable. So really, I'll just come through here and say convert to string, jump that off there, and close the bracket. Okay, so that's the first step. So let's now put our currency variable onto the designer. So we can come through to here, currency variable. And let's see how we go. Now we come through to here, put our massive number in. Okay, so now it's looking a bit better. It's rounded up 34, uh, 0.346 becomes 35. So it's looking better, but what I'd like to do is also have a, a dollar sign in front of it. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna come through to here and I can, since it's a string now, oops, what have I done? I can put a dollar sign in here and put the plus in there because since it's, it's a string, we can just add, 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 it's not gonna, actually do uh, a calculation of uh, addition on the string. It just adds it, concatenates it basically. Now we come back to the preview, we go to number. Now it's looking a little bit better, but it's very, very hard to read. It doesn't have the uh, decimal separators like we have here. How do we go about that? Well, 
this is interesting because it's similar to a uh, video I just did uh, just the other day whereby the replace function function actually has um, regular expression. Now if you're not familiar with reg regular expression um, it's it's a pretty um, complex language. Um, if you go to uh, regex builder um, yeah, you can learn all about how it matches the um, the terms and the syntax and there's a whole bunch of uh, ways you can identify if, if it's a number, look forward and backwards and all those sort of things. Things. So I've already got a regex um, um, pattern that I want to put in here, so I'm going to put it in here and I'm not going to explain this because it took me quite a while to figure out how it actually works, but I do know it works. So what we're doing here is I think it's things like um, match only um, anything that's not a word. So double backslash basically means um, it's the first backslash is escaping the second backslash so I can use it because regular expression just uses one backslash. But for us, we need to escape that as a special character. So that's why you'll see two backslashes. And then there's the decimal. So um, it's uh, backslash D match um, three decimal places on the three. And there's a, a positive look ahead, I think it's called. And, and then, so basically I'm doing a replace on that massive number formatting the string and saying, when you find this pattern, put in a comma. Okay, so hopefully that my regex is all correct. We go to the preview, we can still see no dollars. So I put 100, 100, 100, 100, perfect. Um, then we could put uh, 300, $3. So it's rounding to 30 cents or three. We could probably round that to decimal, do two decimal places. I think that's not quite working, but um, the, the main point is what happens when we go here? So now we can see the thousand separators coming through. So 165 million, 556,000 uh, and 550 and 30 cents. So that's 30 cents is really adding a lot. So hopefully that um, is useful to you. So just think about things like um, um, the round function, which is good for two decimal places, um, convert to string so you can put a dollar sign in there, but then also the replace function actually supports regex. So yeah, it, it, it's an interesting, interesting thing you can do. So putting in a massive number here, and you can see it's actually put in five comma, three digits, three digits, three digits, three digits. So I hope you find that useful. Uh, let me know in the comments. Cheers.